let me teach you three dimensions of understanding men very quickly number one learn the expected behaviors for every environment it's called the law of protocol you are learning wisdom that will change your life some of you will begin to apply it from this night every environment has a system of protocol has an expected behavior you are not qualified to remain in that environment until you study the protocol of environment you go to preach in a church learn the expected behavior you enter a house learn the expected behavior you stand before a great man who can bless you before you get to him understand the protocol many believers are ignorant of the expected behavior and they step into certain circles and step out there are preachers that have gone to certain churches to preach and they did not understand the expected behavior they preach well but they will never go back to those circles again is God blessing us in Jewish days when you came to someone's house from a long journey you were never allowed to enter with a dusty feet you would stand outside and their way of honoring you was that they had men servants who would come with water and oil and a sponge they would wash your feet and clean it with toil as a proof of honor and then you are now authorized to get into um, the place to stay it's a principle many people do not know expected behavior you meet a wealthy man and they tell you this is a millionaire and he says sir anything for the boys sorry yo. he will give you something but you lost the relationship what he gave you will finish because you just showed him that what he has is greater than him in your eyes and he said you have it and go everybody say expected behavior you can't be going for a job interview and dress as if you are going to a movie theater there is a persona there is a protocol this is our ignorant generation we don't have regard for these things you're going to submit a proposal for a business that is worth 100 million naira and you enter with palms and a shirt that is a bit torn and say i'm a free person you are out no right thinking person born of a woman and trained under an intelligence system will host you i've taught you that appearance is the seed for acceptance you minimize controversy when you appear well understanding men i'm teaching you growth systems listen you must understand the diplomacy of managing greatness diplomacy is not compromise you will have the opportunity to stand near great people who will bless you who are not born again they may be vulgar in their communication they may even be sarcastic you can stand near a man as a married woman who is a wealthy um, man but has no regard for family and he can be explicit even in his talk you don't just look at him and say see i'm a child of god i'm a i'm a daughter of zion mm -mm, mm -mm. take it easy take it easy there are some times that your your answer should be with your body not your mouth your body language can speak it's very important i have one of one of the blessings that god gave me is the intelligence to understand atmosphere you must be of quick discernment to understand atmosphere i taught you this um um esther knew the right time to talk there are wives who never receive from their husbands because they don't know when to ask any time is not the right time me i say my mind that's how i am that's why you are, you are where you are those who say their mind have all have been receiving a lot of things unfavorable most of them 
there were times Jesus kept quiet even when he had what to say then he would say okay he who does not have stone have sin cast the first stone there are times that Jesus looks at a man and he's about to leave his crusade to follow one man Jesus have you started worshiping men a centurion comes to you and you say no don't worry I know that I'm praying for the rest but I will honor you wow and yet he's no respecter of persons he looks at a short and a little man called Zacchaeus who climbs a tree and has a lot of regard for his sacrifice and his honor and he says Zacchaeus you have dishonored yourself too much to honor me please come down it's your house i'm going to i must reciprocate this i want to build a relationship with you there are people whose interest i must protect you represent a gate let's go your house is worth a crusade let's go and zacchaeus by himself instead of jesus on the tree saying i will see you but will you forgive this guy he said let's go to your house that honor alone made him say I will forgive these people bank people are very wise sometimes when they want to come and ask you to open an account with them and you're a big person they don't just send you a text they visit you say how are your birthday it was yesterday say no it was last week oh last week so how are you how is everything i mean uh, the weather is hot they are wise expected behavior by yourself you will start asking them so how is the service is it beautiful we are doing absolutely well in fact there's no other time in the history of the bank that we have been this nice you say you mean it yes in fact we were hoping since you brought the issue let's talk that's why they came up and they are making it look as if it's a side talk many believers are not diplomatic there are times you don't ask by asking you ask by doing what is equivalent to asking oh, oh, oh your lifting has come oh, oh, oh your lifting has come so to understand men you must understand the protocol of every system learn it I've taught you that adaptation is the proof of honor adaptation does not always mean compromise there are times you have to receive grace to bend to create positive perceptions number two you want to understand men gain mastery over words hmm. gain mastery over words proverbs 16 verse 24 any man in this generation who does not understand the power of words and how to use it to your advantage you will destroy yourself and destroy important relationships words read with me proverbs 16 24 one to read pleasant words are as an honeycomb sweet to the soul and health to the bones who runs away from this pleasantness to your soul pleasantness to your body words when you when you watch scottish films and all of that the kings had these orators right that walked with them in the palace every time they had a delegation i mean those guys were poets like shakespeare they would bamboozle you with intelligence they will they will conjure words and just keep you spellbound and at the end you see people clapping and they want to give the king gifts and they want to honor that nation words are powerful words convey thoughts words create perceptions master words you want to master men master words otherwise you can make your good be evil spoken of 
words are important words are important to great men they have developed their minds to be philosophical they analyze words mean men don't have value for words anything they don't think but wealthy people think you give them a document they will look at it intricately a poor man will just sign and say where is the money a rich man will say no 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 why is this clause this way god calls himself the word he knows how to speak he knows what to say for your life to change listen to me words are very important proverbs 18 20. i have seen people amass fortunes because they have mastered words a man's belly shall be satisfied not with what he buys in the market with the fruits of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled there is a relationship between poverty and words there is a relationship between prosperity and words and it's not just limited to confessions understand people i've taught you this always preserve honor in your words the psychology of communication that the highest need psychological need of any man on earth i would drum this till you understand is the need to feel loved the need to feel valued the need to feel important never forget that and you will gain the heart of kings I've had the privilege to talk to people on behalf of others and some of those people hitherto had vowed to never provide certain help or certain things but a five minutes conversation changed their entire minds and they were more willing to even do the things that they did not want to do can you change a man's mind with words if you cannot you are not a master of words not deception not lies that a couple a marriage that is about to break and you use words to create perceptions in both of them and they are back words translate a man from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of god's dear son words are that powerful one word correctly spoken can give you a contract of millions one word wrongly spoken can destroy you i'm not just talking about grammatical accuracy i'm talking about the understanding that words paint pictures words create perception how are you pastor alpha ah uh, well done huh let me touch your small nose you say you are joking this is a man you are looking for help from you intended to crack a joke but you just lost your job words when i was a child i taught like a child i speak like a child listen to me please master words master words know how to talk to people there are times that your communication will require you to be agreeable there are times that you will need to stand in the position and speak from a position of weakness to be the strong one there are times you need to be weak to be strong strength does not always come as strength many times it is weakness that becomes strength words i've taught you a lot of words words such as salutation just greeting people alone for some of you you have lost favor because you cannot greet people you tell everybody how far including your destiny helper you enter an office and you are seeing people almost as if they are worshiping a god and he said bros how far says the manager oh sorry manager how far and he said go out are you here for the interview say yes i'm a graduate of say whatever and while you are talking go out psychology you match somebody sorry 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 words 
words you thought you just apologized no why do you have to employ MCs and people to conduct a meeting why don't you just pick somebody and say come and conduct this wedding what do the MCs know words someone who never planned to give 10 naira simply because he was honored he will stand up and say on behalf of myself and my wife they agreed on 200,000 he said we hereby give 1.2 and the wife is looking at him this, this is kind of honor is not for two I won't disgrace myself here you didn't ask him for money you use words to do something that a charm cannot do to his ATM have your words brought you wealth have your words brought you open doors have your words given you things you didn't work for was it not because of what you said that doors closed against you what you said to God what you said to man daddy let me tell you something I've been watching you every day just because you are my father I don't think I respect you I'm just you I will lock you up me yes your son and he looks at you and says no problem the day somebody comes and says the Lord is putting it in my heart to help somebody in this house he said there's a house help she just finished her ND help I said I thought you have a master son over my dead body rather give me the work in my old age I've retired but I will work on contract I will never watch you give this stupid son work if he insults me poor he will kill me when he's rich words create memories words create memories when people remember you it is important for them to remember peace to remember love that's why business people go through the rigor of training themselves on how to talk there are so many business people in this ministry people call Ejimi the apostle of wealth is the is the king king of the industry <laughs> You don't sell by intention there is a science to it can I make you like me yes can I make you hate me yes can I make you give to me yes I'm not talking of manipulation there are people who use words like a chain and casted a permit me to use the word spell on people they fish their destiny helpers with words and while they left the helpers followed them what are you doing i'm following you why words a word spoken in due season you may speak good english and speak nonsense psychology words please learn this some of you need to go back and find the five or ten people who have the power to be used by God to change your life start doing something with words uncle just to bless you and to say good evening sir um, it's been a while that I kept in touch I sincerely apologize God has been faithful I honor you thank you so much I know you are busy I will be glad to call whenever you allow me to you see that statement you now look like a fool the man will say ah this man knows i'm busy he will call you by himself you never say instead of uncle how far you are my only uncle what did my father tell you before he died those those kinds of those kinds of statements you will keep authorizing demons and darkness to punish you words are powerful your father and one uncle somewhere is fighting and you are supposed to come in uncle what happened question mark who are you you are a child among the elderly people no good afternoon sir i sincerely hope you are not offended that i'm even reaching you i know i shouldn't be doing this it is in no way to communicate dishonor i understand that you and daddy may not have been not fighting may not have been at the best of state 
and if it will ever make any meaning i'm joining my knees and my hand on the ground to plead for the family i know many of you are embarrassed and I say me to subject that's why you are poor that's why you are poor what are you proud of if you don't have what you are looking for what do you think being great is it's a combination of keys let me tell you what will happen the uncle will not reply you that's a proof that he has received what you have said that's how men process things women will respond thank you men don't act like that men think they would delete it because it's already in their mind and think through it wow this young man what can i do for him the day they see you they will act as if you are not the one but one day when the light of god's favor will shine on you they will say i remember when this guy was 14 years old i was having a challenge with the uncle can you imagine that this small boy wrote a nice letter and he said uncle i'm 41 say you think i forgot it they want to sack you from somewhere the uncle will say kill me before you sack this boy listen let me teach you this if you understand words you can be everywhere where you are not your word is there for you are you blessed don't just treat great people treat everybody words Twenty-five verse eighteen. I really apologize. Our time is gone. We are going to round up now. But you will thank me, like I said. You may not thank me after the service. Some of you will receive instant testimonies from this. Just this, that you understand, men. You've been fired from your workplace, and you just construct a letter or a text and sincerely apologize to your boss, and that man is ready to receive you and even promote you a man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow speaking about words this is what words can do they can be so destructive there are times the the way to speak is to say nothing that's how you speak hmm. i'm just imagining the results that will come out of your life when you start engaging these things let me tell you there is no power that can stop this from working it's true every man is weak to words when they are right every man including god was it not moses that said god please please calm down don't let them think that you brought the nation of israel out and you didn't have the power to take them into the promised land and god repented God repented this looks like small keys but the wonders that these keys work in your life words two minutes the last key to understanding men is understanding the power of endorsement please write it down you will never rise beyond certain levels until a credible voice can endorse you please lend this please lend this endorsements are powerful man of god you remain where you are in spite of the growth of the anointing until a credible voice can speak for you endorsements are powerful you may not have access to the gate so value everyone you know who is already at the gate because their recommendation their referrals their endorsement i may not trust you but i trust the person who spoke about you i have been blessed by the recommendation and the endorsement of people when you see gatekeepers don't ignore them value the endorsement of great men it took a lot of sacrifice for their voices to be heard 
don't think you will push them aside there are many young preachers who believe they can push any other man of god and just stand and gain a voice keep going save johnny until you know that men are not that fragile before they listen to you they will look at the person they listen to what does he have to say about you there are many churches before i come they ask questions who knows apostle who has listened to him and then usually one influential person will raise his hand and say ah my son i've not listened to him but i overheard my my son's life has changed please let that man come immediately every church meeting is over bring apostle You would have been doing business with kings if the right voice spoke to you john had to endorse jesus he didn't just ordain him he endorsed him if there is nobody who can speak into your life not just in terms of prophesying but to give a good word you can easily get a job when someone speaks for you hello please um i know that they are collecting this this oil company people please uh yes that lady number 76 please she's my daughter eh please 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 don't worry we'll talk later on and that's it you have gotten the job whereas someone else is saying father help me the angel of the lord keeps hovering around his breakthrough but there's no man to use because he ignored every he prayed and his prayer brought angels but he ignored men so there is nobody to speak for him number 24 who knows him nobody please remove him and give number 77 because three people have called for his sake the same thing with men of god do you know it's a terrible thing if you don't have men who can rise for you i don't mean psychophants nobody to defend what you represent nobody to stand up and advocate for you there are parents who don't have anybody speaking for them the only person who can speak for them is their children they didn't raise anybody today who can speak for them there are times you are not the one holding the rod but you can hold the hands of the person holding the rod so that they can speak and say if you ever need somebody to hold a hand this person there are times that i have been called you may not know but some of the students who graduate and are serving N nccf or and all of this sometimes i get text messages from the leaders who are interviewing new people and I, they say ah apostle please we interviewed so 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 he said he's a member of koinonia what do you have to say about him we are considering making him this this and that and sometimes i say ah with all pleasure he was effective he was useful that's it you don't have to know the same way right now while you are seated here the angel of favor is at the ears of your helper but because you did not connect with them you didn't leave memories that will compel them to reciprocate kindness mm. that you continue to plant yourself in the hearts of people through honor plant yourself in the heart of gatekeepers everybody who thinks about who to help is thinking about you you will never go down that way no there are people who have eaten from your hands today who will never allow anybody speak evil of you you have become part of them preachers learn this business people learn this we are going to pray we've stretched you today and i sincerely and truly apologize but i give you one guarantee you will see fruitfulness in ways that will surprise you please rise up on your feet one more time.
time and we're done. Take him, my name.